Damn. Well, Joseph's already looked at the car. What do you rate it? Be honest with be honest with everyone. I'm not trying to hide anything. It's a nine out of ten. It's a nine out of ten? Just for overspray, I'd say. <laughs> Just putting it a little bit on the black. <laughs> but yeah, we came to pick up the Celica. If you guys want to know this guy's information, it's literally on his tire. That's his phone number. But come to look at the car. You can't see none of the shit I did on this front bumper. There was a huge gash right here. And that crack that was completely went through. Remember when we went to go pick up this body kit? Yeah. Do you remember how bad the bumper was when I, was I picked it? <laughs> and then the hood that had the key marks, they're gone, dude. They're gone. It's fucking clean. Don't crash my newly painted car. <laughs> really, really clean car. Like, like this guy, the previous owner put a brand new OEM shift knob and shift boot. Like, <laughs> this car shifts like damn butter, like a hot knife. Cutting butter. And it sounds so good with that intake, the eBay intake. Check it out. No check engine light either. So, it is a non windy day for once. Jeez, it's been windy as hell for like the past three to four days. Like very, very windy. But here I am finally with the white Celica, white Tsunami. Gave it a quick little wash, didn't really dry it or nothing, just let the wind dry itself or let the wind dry the car. But it is really, really, really bright, what, like a bright white. <laughs> if the sunlight's hitting it, it's going to hurt your eyes. <laughs> That's how bright this thing is. But I'm in love with this white, actually. Like, <laughs> um, Same guy that painted the blue tsunami. Um, but unfortunately, I did find a couple of more runs. The blue one had two runs. This one, I believe, has a couple more runs. But, you know, with wet sanding and buffing, you can pretty much fix that. But noticeable runs, noticeable runs. I think I saw one right here. You can somewhat see it. But that's a run right there. Um, Where else? Where else? He didn't really do a great job at masking. You can see the white overspray right there. I also didn't do a great job at washing this car. It's a little dirty. You know, on the plus side, something he didn't do on the white one, but he didn't block this off on the on the blue one, actually. And I had over, uh, paint on the door, <laughs> the door lock, so I had to fix that. Um, I, I know I saw another run. The bumper was fine. The bumper's fine. I know the bumper is fine. We're missing a side marker because I actually grabbed this side marker from that $500 Celica that I bought from Atwater. It only had one side marker and the other one was completely missing. So I'm going to go ahead and try and get another JDM side marker because I don't know, the, the dark orange kind of do, does go well with the white, not with the blue, which is what I didn't put. I put actually clear ones on the blue one. Um, oh, this is a big one. Overspray. Um, I believe this is the only side he got overspray. He didn't get it on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off and run some acetone on it and see if I could get the paint off. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, you can see he, he did a better job on this side. 
he covered it on this side really well so i'm actually okay with that um i need to go buy the weather stripping that goes right here so that it covers that gap because it doesn't look all that great and i need to figure out how to get this side skirt to fit because on the tsunami packages it has holes right here on the quarter panel right here on the lower side but regular celicas didn't come with those holes so i don't want to drill into the the body in case the new owner wants to put different side skirts or not keep it tsunami so it'd be unfortunate if he <laughs> did take off the tsunami package but i don't want to do that so i'm just going to leave it like that i'm going to let the new owner know um um technically this car is spoken for um so um it's kind of already sold um he seems really really interested in it so i'm pretty sure it's already going to be sold but um same deal with the other celica there's um paint overspray from where he didn't tape it well you can see but this is all stuff like i could easily fix like like check it out right here as well this is all just stuff that can easily be fixed it's nothing like that is non-repairable you know um but i know i saw more runs it i know i saw runs because in the dark you can see all the runs you can see all the runs but right now because it's incredibly shine like bright you can't see the runs that well but i know i saw runs <laughs> um oh more overspray more overspray looks like there's a run right there a little bit of um, clear coat adding up right here oh another thing so i did get asked this a lot from the previous video and i didn't really specify it this is not a single stage paint same with the other blue silica it is not a single stage paint this is a base and clear which is why it has that shiny like look at this look at that reflection though this is like it looks so good i'm like so happy that like clinton introduced me to this guy like 800 bucks you really can't beat that base and clear not single stage mako was charging me 1500 dollars for a single stage um enamel paint shop i think it was 1500 like that's awesome i'm 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 really happy but and I'm not happy with the overspray. You can see the overspray is everywhere. He did not do a good job. So I don't know. I'm probably going to have to talk with him next time if I'm going to get a car painted with him again. There's more runs right there. You can see the runs right there. There's another one right there. Like it's it's really it's really tiny over like really tiny over um um, runs they're really tiny they're not like huge and i'm trying to point them out for the video because i'm trying to let the new um owner look at it so like he kind of has an idea at what he's gonna come look at you know but the interior is still dirty it is still dirty so i gotta go ahead and clean it but the main reason that i guess he fell in love with it was look at these seats though there's no rips or tears none like this interior is like a nine out of ten like the new shift boot and the new shift knob oem toyota as well so we're gonna go ahead and clean that probably in a future video but look at this this rear end like it is so damn clean with the original floor mat and the cargo net and Previous owner did install this red lettering. I thought it looks good. I have it on my on my Celica, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, we are gonna get rid of this exhaust tip. I do have my. I am gonna get my friend to weld it, or weld a new exhaust tip, a chrome one, so it could look good. Cause this black one, this is the one that came with the car. And when I took it off, the heat from the exhaust was was deforming the diffuser. So I just put that back on, so it wouldn't do it anymore. And I did that. Um, I still have to adjust this side a bit. Um, you can see it's kind of tucked in compared to the other side, but the only, the only reason the, the other side's not tucking in is because I had already installed the, oh, you can see the overspray as well, <laughs> overspray. But this is what I'm talking about. I installed this and this pushes the, the bumper out. Oh, is this a run? This looks like a run right here. <laughs> it, but the, as, as you know they're really tiny runs they're not big and it, it sucks but i can't complain for eight hundred dollars like eight hundred dollar paint job 
And I'm pretty sure this is better than, oh, wait, wait, is this a run? Is this a run? <laughs> That's a run. Okay, see, I'm finding them. I'm finding them. But you have to be up close and personal with the car to look at the runs. But even at that point, you know, um, worldwide pandemic, don't get six feet close to my car. <laughs> and it, it's just amazing how this car ended up. I'm going to go ahead and make another video of the before and after, but this is mostly just to show off the car. Damn airport. <laughs> but incredible, dude. I'm, I'm stoked. Um, I will put the guy's information in the description. Um, he is a, he does run a body shop in Sacramento. It's in East Sacramento off um, 65th Avenue and how um, you guys can give him a call. He only speaks Spanish. So if you guys only speak, um, if you guys don't speak Spanish, there's going to be a language barrier between you two, you know, um, but it's, but it's funny because Clayton was able to, able to talk with him. So, he, you know, he, he kind of knows, he kind of knows how to talk a little bit, but, um, it was in Sacramento. So if you guys are local to Sacramento and you need a quick paint job that he actually did this really quick, he did it in one day. I dropped it off at 11 a.m. the day before. I picked it up the next day at 3 p.m. Like, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with the quality that this, if if you have a beater car that you want to just get quickly sprayed but don't want to go with Mako, this guy, this is the guy. $800, base and clear, not single stage, base and clear, $800. <laughs> so, any questions let me know in the description or let me know in the comments actually um i'm glad i'm finally glad i got both tsunamis done um i'm gonna get um someone to do some rollers with me on both tsunamis and we're gonna get tsunami merchandise going on and it's just gonna be a really really good like stuff that we're gonna do with both tsunamis before i end up selling them so stay tuned to the channel guys oh and one more thing before i go these grills this, I get a lot of questions. Where did I get it or how did I do it? These grills are actually the OEM um, Tsunami grills. So um, the tabs did break in the back. So what I did end up doing was drilling a hole, a really tiny one and just zip tying it to get the grill to hold on. So it looks really, really good though. But if you want something like this, go on eBay and just look up Universal Grill it will pop up exactly like this. <laughs> so thank you guys if you guys made it to the end of this video. I know I talk a lot on my videos, but it's that's just me. If you know me in person, you know I talk a lot and I'm not shy, you know. I used to be shy back in the day, but I'm not shy no more. I, I, I tend to talk more now. <laughs> so any questions, let me know in the comments, guys. Please and thank you. See you guys around.